Hi guys, another quick one today. After my last video, I had someone ask if I would do a video about um, a slot or slitting punch. Um, but it's not really much point because this is one I made in about 20 seconds today. It's simply an ordinary chisel which I just took the end off on a grinder. Simple as that. It's about an eighth of an inch across the, the end, maybe three sixteenth, and it's about three quarters of an inch wide, and that really is all it is. So there you go really, I'm going to try and show you how they are used. Now I've got a bit of 45 by 10 here, which I'm getting heated up, which is about an uh, inch and three quarters by three eight in Imperial. Get it nice and hot. Simply put it on your spot, bash it through until it just hits the anvil, the other side, which was there. Should have greased that because it's getting a bit stuck. You can just see the black mark on the back, which is where it impressed on the on the anvil, so I know exactly where I've got to go for. And that will knock out a tiny little sliver, about an eighth of an inch wide. And it's stuck. There we go. I'll grease this up, but uh, I haven't got any handy. But in there, you can see the tiny little sliver that uh, came off. So there you go, that's the start of it. Now we're going to warm it up again and we'll drift it. But that basically is your punch. Now to drift it really you want, like I've got here, swage block or some other slot about the same size as the drift you're putting through so you don't distort the back of it. Um, it really wants to go through that one but there's a, a tool in the way in the other end of the swage block so I'll put it through here to start with, just whack it straight through and then I will, after levelling it up a bit, move that out of that. There it is, that thing. Now put it over this hole, which isn't perfect size, it's a bit small. Uh, the hole's a bit large. Um, and that drift is just a bit of inch by half inch flat. And I just whack her through. And that's it. Simple as that. Again, it's not going to come off, is it? Not having much luck today. That ain't going to come off, so easiest way, stick it out back in the anvil. Through the hardy hole and just knock her out. Try not to knock the camera over. Right, I'm just going to warm it up, level it up. And that's about it. Actually, I don't know quite why I got it that hot. I'm only going to tidy it up and tickle about. But if you wanted to put a bigger drift through, then you can. Put a round drift through. You can go, keep going bigger and bigger. Well, to a certain degree. Sky's the limit. And that's about it, really. A simple slit and drift, or slot and drift. Whichever you like to call it. And there you go, it's a nice neat inch by half hole. Thanks for watching. Happy drifting.